Let's make a short rib grilled cheese. I like when the short ribs are cut Korean style. We slightly coat them in oil. We hit them with a black pepper heavy rub. These can go into a pressure cooker. A cast iron or Dutch oven work great. Make sure you get a beautiful sear. We want to lock in all that flavor. Go in with an onion. Just a tiny bit of ketchup. Add soy sauce and Worcestershire. Mellow it out with a little brown sugar. Submerge it all with veggie broth or water. When this comes to a rigorous boil, shut it up with a lid. Drop it to a simmer. We're going low and slow. It's time to pickle some onions. You see the grains of the onion? We're gonna slice following those grains. Just nice beautiful strings like this. We're gonna mix in hot water with white vinegar. This whole mixture gets salt. In a mason jar, we do pickling spices. Red onions go in, and we go in with our hot mixture. All this needs is a couple hours in the fridge. Since we're going all out for this recipe, let's make a homemade chipotle mayo. One egg, don't crack the yolk, and then I cracked it. A little Dijon mustard, a squeeze of lemon. You wanna cup the yolk with the hand blender, and as you add an oil blend, it should be beautifully silky smooth, and well, it should feel like mayo. I'm just gonna toss in a chipotle pepper sitting in adobo sauce. And then we give this one more blend. And just what we have here is a beautiful chipotle mayo. Refrigerate it, and it will lock in all that amazing flavor. After a couple hours, it should shred like butter. And I like to just chop this whole pile up. We toast down some sour bread, homemade chipotle mayo, lots of beef short rib, or homemade pickled onions. Then we do white cheddar, yellow cheddar, and finish with Monterey Jack. We cut this on a diagonal. And as always, now bismillah. Now, yes, this is a pretty heavy sandwich. I'm telling you, those homemade pickled onions cut through all that fat. You have those layers of that decadent cheese. This sandwich is fantastic. It definitely takes a lot longer than the usual grilled cheese. But if we made the sourdough from scratch, this thing was homemade from the tea. I kind of like when it's nice and sloppy. Bread was kind of falling apart. I damn near barely melted the cheese. But the short rib is just phenomenal. I'm serious, it's out of this world. Every single bite is just jam-packed with flavor, and you need to try this. There's so much love into this sandwich.